For a long, long time, we told you that uh, this government, led by Dick Cheney, had authorized uh, waterboarding and other forms of torture, what they called enhanced interrogation. And for a long time, uh, the right-wing pundits said, No, come on! You don't know anything. You don't know that they're doing anything. No, Abu Ghraib was just a couple of bad apples. They didn't authorize things like taking their clothes off and humiliating them and putting them in, you know, cold rooms or hot rooms or doing stress positions, any of this stuff. Then as news started to come out that, in fact, they did do that, then they turned around and said, oh, it's totally okay, but you don't know who authorized it. Well, we now have a confession straight from the horse's mouth. Dick Cheney talking to Jonathan Carl at ABC News admits the waterboard. Let's watch. Did you authorize the tactics that were used against Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? I was uh, aware of the program, certainly, and involved in helping get um, the, uh, uh, the process cleared. That is, the agency, in effect, came in and wanted to know what they could and couldn't do. And um, they uh, talked to me, explained what they wanted to do. And I supported it. There was a period of time there, uh, three or four years ago, when about half of everything we knew about Al Qaeda came from that one source. So it's been a, uh, a remarkably successful effort. I think the results speak for themselves. In hindsight, do you think any of those tactics that were used against Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and others went too far? I don't. And on KSM, one of those tactics, of course, why they reported it was waterboarding, and that seems to be a tactic we no longer use. Even that, you think, was appropriate? I do. Well, there it is. That's what we in the business call a confession. Waterboarding is torture by all definitions under the Geneva Conventions. We are signatories to the Geneva Conventions, so that makes it federal law, law of the land, supreme law of the land, in fact. And Dick Cheney just said with his own mouth right there, crooked mouth as it is, Yes, I have no problem with waterboarding, and we authorized it. Well, the man is guilty, so let's do something about it. Now, will we? That's a different question. But he's basically confessed to it here, and I think that there's some chance that this is a little too arrogant on his part. I guess he's gotten used to the fact that nobody ever does a damn thing about any of the laws that he breaks, so he figures there'll be no repercussions. But this tape could be used against them one day. Because what he did is clearly illegal. And they authorized it at the highest levels. You saw Cheney right there say he has no problems with it. And then he'd do it again. All right, now we got more for you. Uh, let's go. By the way, before we go to clip number two, actually, let me tell you one other thing. You heard what he said there? Half the things we know about Al Qaeda we got from Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. How many things do you know about Al Qaeda? You know, two things, and you got one from Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. And who believes Dick Cheney? Please. Oh, you're telling me now that that torture was really, really useful. Yeah, I trust you. I'll take your word for it. All right, let's go to uh, clip number two here. What do you say to those that say you've changed? Well, I, the way I think of it, in terms of whether or not I changed, I think a prime motivation for me in, in much of what I've done uh, was 9 11. And um, have I changed? Uh, well, not in the sense that I've gone through some, you know, fundamental uh, transition here, but I have been, since that day, focused very much upon what we needed to do to defend the nation. And uh, I think the uh, policies we've uh, recommended, the programs that we've undertaken, have been good programs. I think those have been sound decisions. And if uh, that's what they mean by saying I changed, uh, I'm guilty. Oh, you are guilty, that's for sure. I mean, this guy is trying to say it over and over. Are you trying to get something off your chest? Yes. No, we think you changed because before you used to make sense when you said after the 1991 uh, Persian Gulf War, hey, why would you want to go into Iraq? You're going to have all these different ethnicities uh, fighting amongst each other, and you're not going to know how to get out. And then later you said, ah, who cares about all those ethnicities fighting? Let's go start a civil war. No, it had nothing to do with 9-11. You lost your bearings at some point. But you know what? The man is amazing. Look at clip number three where he's going to tell you he'd have done it the same, the same no matter what. Even if he knew that Iraq posed what appears to the rest of us to be no threat. Listen, listen. You probably saw Carl Rove last week said that if the intelligence had been correct, we probably would not have gone to war. I disagree with that. 
I think the, uh, as I look at the intelligence with respect to Iraq, what they found was that Saddam Hussein still had the capability to produce weapons of mass destruction. He had a long reputation and, and uh, record of having started two wars, of having uh, brutalized and killed uh, hundreds of thousands of people, some of them with weapons of mass destruction in his own country. This was a bad actor, and the country's better off, off with uh, Saddam gone. So there it is. He says, I don't care if there were no weapons of mass destruction. I'd have gone to war anyway. Why? Saddam was a bad actor. Are we going to invade every country that has a bad actor? Well, L.A. comes to mind. <laughs> Not entirely a country, but... No, but seriously, that's an insane precedent. So now we're supposed to say, hey, well, look, at some point this guy did something wrong and we've judged him to be a bad actor. We don't think he has any weapons of mass destruction. We don't think he's any threat to us. He had nothing to do with 9-11, nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. We're going to attack him anyway. That's the Cheney Doctrine. Attack everyone for no goddamn reason. This man is a maniac. And he single-handedly controlled the idiot president for eight straight years. See that brief picture of Bush and Cheney talking? With Bush being like, like, what, the planes are coming in like this, Dick, and then what happens next? And Dick's sitting there like, oh, just attack already! We had these madmen in charge for eight years, man, and they still got a little over a month left. Let's just hope they don't do any more damage.